Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be taking you guys through my updated powder foundation routine. So for this routine, I do not use any concealer or like traditional foundation, I'm just using powders. And I mentioned this particular powder on my Instagram recently and I did a little Instagram Reels video of it, but those are only 15 seconds long. So a lot of you guys wanted me to do a more in-depth video on this product and how I use it. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. I'm obsessed with this powder. It gives you a beautiful airbrushed finish and it's perfect just for, you know, like every day. It's so quick and easy and it's from the drugstore. So I know what you're thinking. Please just tell us what powder you are referring to and get on with the video. So the powder I am talking about was this one from CoverGirl. It is from their new Clean Fresh line and this is in the shade Medium. I also have it in the shade light, which I use like to conceal and highlight like my under eyes and like the center of my face. I will say that I feel like this oxidizes like one shade. So I would keep that in mind. Uh, they also have a translucent version of this, which I have not tried. I like to use this for coverage. So if you wanted to just use it to set your face, maybe try the translucent shade. But I've really been loving the light and the medium to act as like foundation and concealer for me. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I apply this. To prep my skin, I just use my sunscreen and this acts as like a primer for me. I haven't really been wearing like a traditional primer recently. I just feel like I haven't really needed to. So if you're wondering what I use on my face first, I typically use this. Uh, sunscreen. It's the First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen. I really love it. So use whatever primer or moisturizer you want first. I feel like you definitely want to have your skin hydrated when you're using a powder foundation just so your skin is not like getting too cakey. And for this powder, what I've been using to apply it is a microfiber type sponge like this. This one is from Real Techniques. I know Amazon carries some as well, but it has like this really nice velvety finish to it. And for whatever reason, I feel like this works better with a powder formula. You could definitely use a brush as well or like a powder puff, but I feel like this or just like a regular sponge gives you more of an airbrushed finish. So this is damp. I know it doesn't really look damp because of just how the texture of this is, but this is damp and then I wringed it out with a towel. So it's damp, but not like straight up wet, if you know what I mean. So uh, basically what I do is I will go in with the light color first and I will dip my sponge directly into the product. You wanna pick up like a generous amount, so I'm just dabbing it in there. And then I'm just gonna go directly onto the face. So I have used this with a concealer as well, but I just wanna show you guys how nice this looks on its own without any concealer. So if you can see, it's really just adding a nice amount of coverage and making my skin look airbrushed. So that's why I love this powder. It really just like gets rid of pores and it makes your skin look so smooth. So I'm gonna put this all over my eyes and my under eyes. And you can definitely build it up and layer it. You could use a brush for this as well, but I feel like a brush, you're not gonna get the same amount of coverage. You can even use like the little sponge that it came with. I already lost that, but I would definitely recommend a sponge or a puff over a brush. So here's what we're looking like so far. I mainly applied it to the center of my face. If you ever feel like your face is starting to look like dry or cakey, don't worry. When you go in with setting spray at the end, it really just kind of helps all of the powder to melt into your skin and gets rid of any kind of like powdery look. So then I'm gonna go in with the shade medium. And for this, I'm gonna take a brush. Again, if you want more coverage, you could definitely go in with the other side of this and apply it that way. But I'd feel like I don't really need that much coverage on the rest of my face. So I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush like this. This is actually from Walmart. I'm not sure if they still carry it or not, but I love this powder brush. I think I used this in my other powder foundation video. So basically with this, I'm just gonna start buffing it all over the face. And like I said, a brush is not gonna give you as much coverage, but I don't need coverage like on my forehead or like my lower cheek area. So you can build this up as much as you like until you have the coverage you like, until you have the blended in amount that you like. 
So now I'm gonna move on and I guess I'll show you guys the rest of my little kind of like everyday makeup routine. Most of this is not new. I don't do anything crazy for day to day, but I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. This is the Ilia Novelty Bronzer. I'm obsessed with this bronzer. I'm about to hit pan, so I definitely need to order more, but this is my favorite. I just am obsessed with the color of this. It blends so nicely and I just love Ilia as a brand. I feel like they're amazing and their products are clean. And I know like clean beauty is like very controversial and it's like a marketing term or whatever. But honestly, if you're someone who has sensitive skin, which I do some like ingredients I am sensitive to, it just makes it easier when you're shopping for makeup products to know like what is in the formula or what is not in it. So, you know, you can be critical of it if you want, but if I know I want a talc-free product, I'm gonna go to the clean beauty section of Sephora, you know? So I'm not really contouring, I'm just kind of like putting this all over my face to add some warmth. I'm gonna put it on my neck. Oh, I have my Khloe Kardashian perfume. I wanna spray this actually really quick. I have my makeup bag here. I actually went away for the weekend last weekend, so I have like everything like in a little makeup bag here and my perfume was in there. Out of all three, if you were wondering, this is unrelated to the video, Chloe's is definitely the best. Um, Kim's is more floral and it kind of reminds me of like a green apple. It's more fresh. It smells pretty, not my thing. And then uh, Courtney's is very like deep and more like mature. So it's a little, it smells good in the dry down, but I feel like initially it's a little bit just too deep and mature for me, but this one, it reminds me of like a creamsicle. It smells like really good. It has like a little bit of citrus in there, but like a warm vanilla. I really like it. So then for blush, I have fallen back in love with my nipple blush from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Climax nipple blush. It just looks like a nipple to me, but this is my favorite. I have a few other shades, uh, but this one is my favorite. I just love like the neutral tone, but then in the center, this is like the same color as one of my favorite blushes, MAC Margin, but it's just in the center. So it's like a nice balance of matte and shimmer. And I just love this color. It's just like a neutral, pretty vibe. So. And I don't know why, but I just love applying insane amounts of blush just like my favorite thing to do if I could get paid to apply blush well I kind of do actually to be honest I, I kind of do get paid to apply blush but I just love this color so much and again it gives you a really beautiful airbrush finish and I don't even feel like the need to highlight my cheeks because it has like a teeny tiny bit of shimmer in there I definitely applied way too much but I always go in and buff my face afterward to make everything look like one cute little thing. Then I'm gonna take my contour color, which is this one from the Dior palette. The best olive toned contour color ever. In this, I just apply it where I want like definition. So I'm gonna use this like right in the outside. I don't bring it in, I just like the outside to pop. I also apply it underneath the jawline. And then I'll also use that to contour my nose. Oh, shoot, I think we're gonna have a crooked nose today. I'm not very good at nose contouring. I will be very upfront and honest about that. My nose is not symmetrical though, so I feel like it's like really hard. Then I'm just taking a little bit of that powder on the uh, other side of this brush, which is from like the Naked Honey palette, and just kind of blending that out. Then while I'm here, I'm just gonna take the bronzer that we used and pop that in my crease. I basically never wear like legit eyeshadow. I just use like bronzer and highlighters or blush, so. This is nothing new. I do this in like every makeup tutorial ever. I take that on my lower lash. Doo, doo, doo. 
Then for my inner corner, I've been loving this Makeup Forever Aqua Cream Shadow Stick. This one is in the shade Desert. And this I use just like as an inner corner eyeshadow. I just like how bright it makes my eyes look. And it's waterproof. So it doesn't like go away if my eyes are getting like teary and runny and having allergies as they normally do. It also does an amazing job at covering like any inner corner darkness. Like the inner corner of my eyes always are super dark, um, even if I have concealer on. And this just really brightens it up and gets rid of that sad look. Then for my nose highlight, I don't like that as bright as my inner corner because I feel like sometimes it makes me look like Rudolph. So I'm going to go in with this Ilia Starstruck highlighter. Pop on my nose. It's more subtle. And sometimes I'll just take this on my finger and run it across my lid. This usually takes me about seven minutes to do the whole thing. Then really quick, I'm gonna add some liquid liner. This is the eyeliner I just started using. I'm obsessed with it. It's the Physicians Formula 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum in the shade Deep Brown. I love a deep brown eyeliner and there really are not that many that have a brush tip like this. So I'm just going to do a quick little wing situation. And I do have a video all about how I do my wings. So if you have not seen that, please go watch. Then sometimes what I'll do is I'll just take my sponge and kind of clean up any areas. Um, you can add more powder or just use like what is left on the sponge. If you want to add more coverage anywhere or just clean up can do that and then I'm gonna go in with the medium powder or like whatever powder you use all of your face and I'm gonna buff my whole face so this step I always do no matter what I'm doing I always buff my face with the powder before I go in with setting spray because it just makes everything mesh together so I'm gonna use this brush from hourglass it's a little bit smaller and like not as intense and dense Intense or dense? I'm not sure what I'm going for. Probably both. But this one's not as dense as the powder brush, so it's not gonna give as much coverage. So I'm gonna go in with this, and I'm just gonna start buffing all over my face. And this just helps everything, again, look smooth and airbrushed like you want. And by doing that, I feel like it gets rid of any like harsh lines of like bronze or blush, lighter powder, darker powder. It just all like meshes together, tones down like the blush and highlight a little bit. And it's just the secret to life. And then lastly, before I go in with my brows and my mascara, I'm gonna set my face really quick. Uh, this is one of the setting sprays I've been loving. It's from the drugstore also. It's the Stay All Night Setting Spray from e.l.f. So I feel like this really helps my makeup last all day. It holds up pretty good against a mask as well. So I'm gonna spray this. So I'm gonna let this dry down. I'm gonna do my brows, my mascara, and my lips, and then I will come back and show you guys the end result. All right, so I'm back and I figured I would show you guys what my lip combo of the day is because I know you guys will ask. I have Marc Jacobs Eau Coco Liner and Pat McGrath Nude Venus and it looks something like this. I've been obsessed with this combo lately. Um, but yeah, this is the end result. I am just so obsessed with this powder. I can't believe how cheap it is. I can't believe that not that many people talk about it. And yeah, I feel like you would not know that I'm not wearing like a full, like regular foundation and it's all powder, no concealer, just all powders. I just am blown away. It takes like two seconds to apply and I feel like it also lasts really nicely underneath a mask. I'm not sure what it is, but I feel like sometimes liquid or cream products they're more likely to slide around on your face and not really sink in and settle in as to wear like a powder i feel like once you put that setting spray on it's like locked and loaded and also that additional like buffing at the end kind of just really 
adds as like a barrier. I don't know if that's even true or if I just made that up, but I feel like it lasts really nicely throughout the day. And like I said, I am normal to combination. I don't have issues with this getting super oily and breaking up on me, but I'm not sure how it performs if you have super oily skin. If you guys have tried it, let us know in the comments. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out this powder if you are in the market for a new powder as the foundation, as the setting powder, as the buffing powder. Definitely check this out. I am in love. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> I left. I left the cap off of my Urban Decay Brow Blade. I'm going to have a heart attack. Where is the cap? I'm going to have a heart attack. There's no other way. There's just hair always on my upper lip. Like not my own hair, just like someone else's. It's probably this hair, my dog's hair, my rug's hair. I don't know who it belongs to, but there's just always hair on my upper lip. Even though I'm lasering my upper lip right now, there should not be hair there.